Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to the trucks on iRacing where it's actually been a while since we raced in the Craftsman Truck Series on iRacing but no way, well, no better way to make a return than to run at Dover Speedway here in Delaware. This track is also known as the Monster Mile and definitely creates quite a lot of carnage because although it's only a mile long, it's incredibly fast and incredibly hard to get right. So we're just going to quickly jump in and run this qualifying session because I... I just realized how long I got left. But yeah, we are in top split out of I think there was like four splits that uh, entered for this race. Well, are in this race in total, so quite a big entry here at Dover, but we are the number three car in top split, so definitely have to go to work. Alright, see if we can put this thing on pole. Okay, here comes your first time lap. That was awful, I'm not even going to bother. That was absolutely awful. Alright, let's try this thing again. Alrighty, here we go. Attempt number two. <laughs> That's better. Oh, don't hit the fence. Oh my god, fuck's sake. Ah, you're kidding me. Why the There's hell would the you do something over. that pathetically stupid? Oh my god. Wow, no one does that. See, my best lap actually in, in practice and qualifying is an 8, which definitely would have uh, put us on the pole here today. Well, within reason. 23.86 is quite quick, actually. Oh my god, I hate my life. Far out. This is going to be a mess. This is going to be an absolute mess. It's going to be an absolute mess. Alright, so we got 20 seconds until we grid. I just can't believe I hit that. I took such a good line through turn 1 and 2. I just screwed up through 3 and 4. So around here, there's actually a um, really weird shape to this track. It's not really like an oval. It's like... Well, it's very different to the most. This this track and Pocono for me are the two weirdest sort of layouts that are on the NASCAR iRacing series calendar. Um, so we have basically this track is a rectangle, but if you imagine on the end on the two ends of the rectangle, there's basically like a big D or or like semicircle. And it means that you, on the entry to turn one and entry to turn three, it's quite sharp and you have to actually slow up quite a lot. But then through the middle of one and two and through the middle of three and four, you can actually get on the throttle again and, and carry a lot more speed than what you think. But then coming off of four and off of two, the track really cuts in on itself and the wall is right there to greet you should you screw it up. Another thing is quite odd here is the, is the straightaways are actually banked as well. You can actually see there there's actually quite a large banking on the straight compared to the pit road so it's definitely odd it definitely provides plenty of carnage I mean it's called the monster mile for a reason it just eats up cars something terrible and another thing here especially on iRacing is that it's incredibly hard to see wrecks and slow up for wrecks in front of you because you can't go anywhere you're engulfed with walls and you yeah so <laughs> you just got to be careful unfortunately we're starting 14th way way down the pack so this is not going to be easy, but we'll do our best. We def I definitely know I have the pace. It's just whether I can get it right and get by some of these guys. Wait, so who is also back here? Okay, so there's 20 cars in total, which is quite normal for this category. I think the max is like 24 or 26. I 
much yeah no I think it's 24 so not quite the same amount of cars that you'd see in real life but the carnage is just as much so 55 laps is the distance and we're gonna need every single one of them because around here with the speed of this track and the, the minimum sort of average speed you drop down to in the corners it's incredibly hard to pass you know, especially in these cars where it's so much grip compared to power Alrighty, here we go. We are starting on the outside though, and that is actually not bad. When you're in the back of the pack here, you actually pretty much want to be on the high side. Just got to avoid the wrecks. I feel like someone's going to fence it out of turn one, and we're all going to die. Because you just can't check up here in time. I mean, so many people get angry with people, supposedly what's called ARCA, breaking them when they run into the back of you, and or you run into the back of someone when they were almost at a standstill but it's just you can't see at all around here I mean when you look at the, the corner here if you look at the top left of my screen you actually can't see with the um, the roll cage is blocking what's on the exit of the corner so if there's a car stopped there green. you're screwed <laughs> you just can't see it in time especially when you're on a single monitor like I am so what you see is what I see Green, green, green! Alright. Oh, Jesus. Stop breaking. You're in the middle. Three wide. Hold your line. Car outside. Two wide. That was crazy. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Clear. Outside. Go high. Car inside. The yellow flag is out. Oh my god, line how the fuck did I avoid that? Let the poo. Car by. <laughs> I, I called it. I knew out. someone would kill someone <laughs> coming off of one. Oh my god, I can't believe I survived that. What what even just happened? What even just happened? <laughs> but you see what I mean, you can't slow down in time, you just basically have to hope and pray that you're not going to run into anyone. Jesus Christ, that took out a lot of good cars. Holy moly. Well that thing's wrecked on the side. Bruh, I don't even know what just happened. Pit Road I'm just glad I'm alive. <laughs> Fuck me. But again, I mean, when you look at it from the outside, it looks like I'm taking, like, four years to react to it, but I'm not. I'm literally just trying to see where Catch I'm going. Catch the ball, car. I run, I'm not sure if you guys saw, but I run 60% brake bias, which is 5% less than the default value, so, and that's, I'm doing that to help get the car rotated on entry of the corner, because a fixed setup is, which, for those that don't know, or don't know iRacing, the fixed series, which is what this is, fixed truck series, is everyone has to run the same setup, and, a, and they usually set the fixed setup, the one everyone has to run, rather tight, so that you can't, you know, spin out, it's it's hard to spin it out and it makes it easier for people to just drive a stable car but it, what it does mean is that it becomes incredibly tight and you tend up burning the um, right front off the thing so we combat that by making the only change that we are allowed to make which is brake bias and of course I'm 5% rearward which means when you stomp on the brakes you end up having no <laughs> like st stopping power at all because you're technically only using one brake. It's like a, you're on a bike and you're only using the rear brake technically, which is incredibly hard to come to a stop when you're only using a rear brake on any motorized vehicle. All right, two to green. Okay, so we are in 8th, there was a couple of damaged cars that pit it, wow there's so many damaged cars, look there's only like one left behind us, that literally must have happened on the third row, because it clobbered every single body on back, I mean there's only 17 cars left on the lead one lap, but the green. 20 that started, one up so, on the outside. Catch the 11 car. multiple Catch casualties, the 11 car. again I just want a top 5, if we're starting from the back around here, you really, if you can just get a top 5 from that far back, I'm quite happy with that, I mean, thank God I actually backed off and let them all have it going into one. It gave us more time to react coming off of two. Oh, 
but it's quite a long race, 55 laps, got a long way to go, still got 50 odd laps left, so plenty of time to work our way up. Ready, going green. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. You're in the top ten. Outside. Still oh, there. Big check up. Holy Jesus. Clear outside. Oh my god, no, don't do it. Rack it, rack and rack. The yellow flag is out. Line up. Okay, that may have been file. my fault, but Big everyone stopped closed. in the middle of the corner for some reason. Seven, car. Catch the ball, car. Like, as you just don't stop in the middle of that corner. I don't know why everyone stopped. <laughs> Keep digging. It's totally my fault. I apologize. I know, I think the four car may have been worried about hitting the guy in front of him so he got on the brakes but I was so far well so close behind him I didn't have time to react pit road is now open So, restarting seventh, moving on up. Seven car. Well, Speed road is closed. I don't know how much you know about NASCAR racing, but uh, you don't break between one and two here, and everyone decided to break. So I, I was so close behind him, I didn't have any time to react. I don't know what else I could. I mean, I'll go and have a look at it afterwards, but okay. I just, I don't understand what people expect. It's Dover. Shit like this happens every five seconds. I mean, I was... Nowhere in hell do you ever break, like, come to a almost, like, ten mile an hour s less mid-corner speed as to what you were doing on entry here. <laughs> I just, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, you don't just break in between one and two. I don't know why everyone checked up so much. One lap to green. Line up on the inside. 
you know, and I, I'm not sure who who it was that went flying around the outside trying to get both of us. I mean, if a car's loose, don't go flying around the outside trying to pass everyone. I don't know. Anyway, smile, you're on YouTube. Alright, after that little moment, let's try and go back to green and put it behind us. I'll have to look at that after the race because I know it all happened so fast I couldn't remember. I can barely re all I remember is just seeing everyone stop in front of me. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. I mean, see, no one broke that time. I, I just don't get it. Oh, shit. Car outside. Okay, that scared the Still there. crap out of me. Hold your line. Clear. Car outside. Clear. Alright. Yay, we did it, guys. We made a lap. Oh my god, this guy's ridiculously loose. A shit corner. I'm trying to get the exit, but not too much grip for that shit right now. Problem, if it's, like, problem is, if I run my usual line, I'm just going to turn him, I can tell. I'll just conserve my tyres and hope for the best. Officially time to put the pedal to the metal. Opa! Opa! Jesus, hold on to it, lads! Dump him! Oh, he dumped him! Wait, no, don't dump him. Be clean. Be a nice racer. Oh, don't hit the wall. Be a gentleman to your Anyone fellow here American. Watching you? Racer? I have. Yeah. You talking about the V8 Utes? It's Stray Mike. 
that leader is gold skis. Oh, I'm making mine up. Oh my god. Understeer is relentless. Bruh. Set her tires. I burn up my damn tires. That's a bit. Wow, we caught up the leader like three tenths in that last lap. I don't think the leader's too good on the long run. Oh, he's screwed now. Oh! Turned him! The next car's the leader. Oh, and now he's running the back of someone and they're all gonna cause a caution and we're all gonna die. Yeah, no, they're all dead back there. The yellow flag is out. Rest Line up, in peace. Pit road is closed. Or should I say, rest in pieces. That was a major fuck up. That guy went from like first to last in one lap. Catch the plant, car. I do believe he had some help. But still, that is an incredible feat. Alright, time to get ready to make some peach stops. We don't. Got power. The pit road is now open. All right, let's see if we can get one or two in the pits. Actually, I don't mind starting off fourth. It's not bad. Although I think I'd rather start off third or second. Oh, okay, that's too fast. Too fast. Do fast. Gee, how the hell did the four get to the lead? What the fuck? Is that the guy that we like? Is that the same guy that we accidentally got in the back of? Damn, he's gone, right? Okay, go. Twelve seven, twelve eight. That's not bad, is it? Line up, single file. Almost got one of them. I, I didn't expect the four. I didn't think that was the four car. I don't know. I suppose he ran off into the distance and we never saw him again. But we have the pace. I have the need the need for speed. Catch the five car. Wow, 91 right front, 94 right rear. That is fucked. Need a B kinder to that right front. Stop diving into the damn corner every five seconds. Opa. Don't drink and drive. Uh, at least the cautions at here are so much quicker than what they were at bloody Talladega. That was a nightmare. Holy fuck. I'm never doing that again. That just took forever. Especially in the Xfinity race, it's supposed to be like 20 laps long and it ends up taking like an hour. We actually won that too. Actually, we won the Xfinity series and the NIS last week. It's quite successful. <laughs> Let's hope we can start this week on a high as well. Starting on the outside. Let the boys car by. Le Monster Mill. Fixing up my heads 
it. One lap to green. Line up on the outside. Alright, it is time to boogie. Why I'm warming up the brakes. Not like you want any heat in the tyres around here. Has that fourth car got a front end? It honestly looks like he has no front end. How the hell is that thing still that quick? Huh, right. The good thing is I know from fifth on back we quicker than any like quicker than everyone behind us, so we don't have to worry about those human beings. Call the ball. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Bruh. Green flag, green flag. Let the pace car by. You're in fourth oh, position. Wow. Why are you... You're now in third. Good job. Car inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Still oh, there. Oh, Jesus, Lord Almighty. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Gotta pinch him down. Clear inside. Hold it off. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Money. Halfway to the finish. Opa! That was close. Outside. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Clear. The next car's the leader. That helps.
20 more laps. Okay, you're in second. I'm gonna run on him. I think we'll be, I'm going to actually run the Xfinity series this week as well as per usual, but I think we'll be better in that car. This is just a little bit too overgripped, this car. Oh my fucking god, what's going on here? Outside! Clear! Lord almighty, that was scary. You got room, get in there. I'm, I'm literally just going to have to wait for this guy to hit the wall and make a mistake. Because he's running too good right now. The yellow flag is out. There Line it is. Up, single file. Yellow flag with 10 to go. We're going to have to try and beat him on the pits. We are NASCAR. Ah, shit. This is going to be a mess. So the problem is he's literally the one in front of us, so we can't see our frickin' pit stall with him there. Uh, so annoying. If we can come out second, I'll be super happy. Pit road is now open. Alright, let's do this thing. to judge this one right, fuck's sake, I hate it when it's like this. Oh, nice. Come on, get me up, get me up, get me up, get me up. Slid a little bit, it's gonna hurt us. We're done, get going! Beat the that guy out. Wow, we must have had a ri wow. We must have had Line a ridiculously good pit stop. All right, well, whatever I did there, I need to do again. 
Because that was, like, unbelievably good. What the actual okay, fuck just happened? Car. Holy crap, that was an insane pit stop. Angle your car to the pit wall, I reckon that's what it was. Oh my god, we actually have someone staying out. Oh my god, you're fucking kidding me. <laughs> Why would you do this to yourself? Trust his name to be Diego Moraes. Cat, the 13, car. Why? Why? Oh my god, we're all gonna die. You've got 10 laps to go. Oh, boy. Alright, now I wish I hadn't come out in second, because now I'm going to be friggin' black flag as soon as he spins his wheels and spins in front of the whole field. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, why, 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 why? I mean, he can barely stop the tyres from wheel spinning with new tyres, let alone friggin' 30 lap old ones or however old these. I mean, my... My right front was down to 87. Does he seriously think he's going to win this race by staying out on a right front that's 87? Like, his is probably worse than mine as well, because I wasn't actually using him actually too bad. God, rip. <coughs> Fuck's sake. We are so done. We are so done. We literally went from One fourth left to, green. to first Line up with a outside. ridiculously good pit stop. Oh my god, just please don't kill us, 13. Please, for the love of Christ. <sighs> this is going to be a mess. Watch the whole field get wrecked here. Going into... <laughs> going into... We're coming out of four. Get ready, going green, don't pass the one car. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. The next car's the leader. Yeah, that was always okay, gonna happen. You are the leader. That was the always yellow flag is out, going line to up, happen. Single file. Pit road is closed. Catch Good the job, pace yeah. car. Thank God I didn't get black flagged. Holy fuck. Well, that is what you call a very special unit there, ladies and gentlemen. You do not do that. <laughs> Don't ever do that to <laughs> what that guy just did. That guy just went full re like full retard, and I mean full retard. And you just don't go full retard, especially in a truck series race. You just don't do it, and that was beyond full retard. And now, well, I mean, it's worked out for us, so I shouldn't really be saying anything. But Pit road is now open. I, you don't want to win it like that. That's just stupid. Just get through there, Robert. Me too, brother. Now look at it, huh? <laughs> I should start, you know, I should make a new series where I compile all the people that take no tires or take two tires and end up wheel spinning and killing everyone 
just like that. I mean, that's just so bad. <laughs> you just don't do that. <laughs> like, why would you do that? <laughs> I mean, there's we've literally done 30 laps on the tyres. And your tyres, I mean, they're only down to like, what, 90% or whatever it was. But around here, when you're middle of your right... Wow, that's interesting, actually. Why is the middle of the right rear worn less... Worn more, sorry, than the inside of the right rear? Yeah, that three car looks clean, so he'll be fast. He'll get away. I just, I don't quite understand how that works. How the hell is the middle of the tyre more... We must be... What's that... Oh, that's why, it's because we're at 53 PS. Okay. Duru. Okay, so 50, yeah. That totally makes sense now. As to why this fucking thing would, was so, uh... So loose at times. So loose... Pit road is closed. It's so you've loose leaving the bloody pit lane. It's because you've got no freaking tyre on the ground. They only start to work when you compress them at, like, 3 Gs with 150 miles an hour and, like, 2,000 pounds forcing down on it or however much these cars weigh, whatever ridiculous amount it is. Actually, I wouldn't imagine these... I always wondered, would, would the trucks weigh less, and this is going to sound really stupid, but would the trucks weigh less than the A car, or the what's called the Gen 6 car, so the, the, the cup car? Because, I don't know, it sounds really stupid, but when you look at a truck, half of it's not there. Like, there's no, like... Rear, there's nothing to the rear of the car, so <laughs> I don't know. Always, I mean, I've seen them in real life, and they look so spiddly and and small compared to the Gen 6 car. The Gen 6 car just looks like a beast, especially when you see what's under the hood. Oh, this is fun. Is literally out of the 20 cars that started, there's like eight cars on the lead lap. So we've lost 12 cars in a space of 50 laps. One lap to green. Line that's up on the seriously inside. special and and impressive. I don't think I don't, that's got to be well, probably not a record, but it's got to be up there with DNFs per lap. I just I don't know how the hell I missed that. I mean, if I'd if I'd come out fourth or third or second behind any of those guys that I went in the pit lane in, like behind, I would have been caught up in that. And at the beginning, how I avoided that first wreck, that makes no like sense to me at all, so I guess we just need to cross the finish line now. Still got three laps left. Let's get it done. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Two laps to go. Oh, someone's blown up. Yeehaw. One more lap to win. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oof. 
Oh, well. Nice round there, Joseph. You won! Hey, great race, man. what happens when you have the best crew chief. Great race. Yeah, good run. Yeah, thanks, guys. Hey, thanks, Jason. No, that's definitely one of the crazier ones that I've been in. Holy crap. Well, we'll just head out and have a look and see what some of those incidents are. I just want to see if I actually could avoid it, could have avoided the fall. Okay, the race is over. Bring it on in. I think that was partially my fault. Anyway, another big shout out to uh, David Vieira. He's my uh, crew chief and spotter on the NASCAR iRacing series sometimes, so he put this paint scheme together about a year ago, and it, for me, being a massive Trekkie, or the massive Trekkie that I am, it is uh, <laughs> quite awesome to see that the Star Trek logo on the car. Alright, so, actually, what am I doing? Let's just go back to start. So this is lap one. Everyone was checking up something crazy. And something happened off the... Oh, one guy hit the wall and then it all came to... Jesus Christ. How the hell we missed all that, I have no idea. Oh, Jesus. Alright, so that was the first one. Then came the next one, which is apparently my fault. It was a checkup. I remember. So it was actually the the green car that checked up. But I might just hold on. Let's have a look here. I don't believe I. I don't actually think I touched him. Oh yeah, I was miles away from him. <laughs> I actually checked up in time. Okay, so that's net code. I didn't even touch him. I mean, you checked up there and I got on the brakes, but yeah, it was definitely a net code. I mean, you can see the gap there. That's crazy. Okay, so that's what caused that. Because I didn't think I was... I don't... I just remember everyone stopping in front of me. Well, not stopping, but slowing down quite a lot. Uh, Alright, so that was my fault. Well, net code's fault. And then he just caught the 11 car there. Alright, and then this one here at the end, which was just ridiculous. So this was just crazy. I mean, what the hell was this guy thinking? I mean, like, wow, that literally, like, destroyed the whole field. Alright, anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit messy, but to come from way back in the pack here and get a win is very rare, I must admit. So, I mean, you can do it on like a long 200 lap race, but on a 50 lap race, uh, provided we did have a lot of luck, <laughs> to say the least, it was actually not too bad in the end. So, we'll move on to the Xfinity series next. You can catch that tomorrow on my channel, and I hope you guys enjoyed that one as well. Until next time, I will catch you guys later.